All right. So first of all, let's um, now. I don't want to keep going back and forth to the screen, but if you remember that deep front line that I showed with that fascia, right? Uh, we're going to release a big portion of that deep front line today, uh, as well as little parts of the other lines. Uh, the deep front line is one of the most important when it comes to blood flow to the pelvis, but it's not the only line that's important, but I can't go over everything today. But I'll, I'm going to give you the some of the most important stuff. So... If you, you if you you can bring that up on the internet too. If you just look on, if you Google deep front line anatomy trains or Thomas Myers, it should bring up a picture. Google images, it should bring up a picture, and you can follow along if you'd like. So, because it attaches, it starts up in here. Well, actually, it goes all the way up. We're going to start right here on the sternum, and then I talked about the diaphragm. Okay, so we're going to get those two areas first. So all you need to do is put the foam roller down and I'm literally going to put my sternum right here on it. Okay. And then once I do that, I'm just going to sort of tuck my head under and bring it up. Kind of similar to what you would do like with a cat cow. If you're familiar with uh, yoga, doing one of those moves, head down, it rounds the back, head up, arches the back here, and uh, basically, it just rolls over the sternum. So we're releasing that attachment point of that fascia. Okay. Now, after we do that, what we're going to do is bring the foam roller to right underneath the rib cage. Now, you need to be careful with this. Go slow. Um, don't put a lot of pressure at first. Okay, especially if you, uh, I wouldn't recommend you do this right after you eat a meal, anything like that, but just go slow with this. It's basically going to go right under that sternum, well, really, really kind of right under here, right under the rib cage. Hopefully that'll be kind of, you'll be able to see. Yeah, think about, think about this way. So my belly button's right here. It's just not on the belly button, but just a little above the belly button, and you'll feel the, um, foam roller right here on the edge of your rib cage. That's where you want it. And you're going to make a similar type of motion. You're going to roll and come up like this. Okay, head kind of down, kind of releasing that area. All right, and then what you can do is kind of go side to side. Go slow with this, but say, for instance, I put my arm here. I bring this arm up. So I'm putting more pressure on this side. So I'm rolling from one side of the diaphragm attachment to the other side. Remember, the diaphragm is where the, all the blood comes out of the heart into the body, right through the diaphragm. If the diaphragm is restricted, you're going to get blood flow restrictions right there at the source, right, as it comes out of the heart. So really important to release the diaphragm. Okay? And then... You really don't want to do this if you've eaten, okay? You're going to bring it onto your belly. So remember, all that fascia that's right here in the belly. Be really slow and careful with this. And, and another thing, um, I should have been more clear on this at the beginning, but you don't want to do anything that's painful. Always ease into these things, okay? And go, you do want to feel a stretch, so much of a stretching feeling, but there should be no pain. If anything's painful, you need to back off. Um, and either try it lighter where there's no pain or just stop doing it all together. Okay. So what I'm going to do this time is we are going to go pretty much where the belly button is and we're going to just sort of relax on top of it. Okay. And once again, this is a little easier with the softer foam roll. So I put it kind of right on my belly button. Belly button's kind of like right in the middle. And then, <laughs> and then I'm going to put my head down. Try not to bump my mic too much. Okay, and just kind of relax in this position. Then take a deep breath. And into your belly. Take a deep breath into your belly so you can feel that pressure against the uh, foam roller. And then exhale. And really let that sink in. And do it again. And then relax. Do one more. Breathe in. Okay. 
Very good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the pelvis, right? The most important part. So when we do that, what we're going to do is right here on the top of the pelvis. So it's pretty much at your belt line. We're going to start there. Okay, so before you get to your penis, right, it's going to be the pubic bone right up into this point here. So it's right before you get to the, the penis. You, you, be careful, in other words. <laughs> you know, don't, uh, don't uh, you know, steamroll your junk. <laughs> okay, so I'm on there. Yeah, you can. I can feel it. So I'm going all the way to the top of the pelvis here, okay, which is almost into my belly, but I feel like I'm on those bones. I can feel the bones. That's what you want to, because that's where the fascia and the muscles attach. And then kind of like you're coming up into a cobra, you're going to come up to the pubic bone, okay? If you feel that pubic bone, so it's right before you get to the top of the base of your penis, okay? And then we're going to come down again. And then up, okay, and then down again, like so. Then we're going to come up again, up to the pubic bone. Okay, I'm going to do another one of these. This is one of the most important. You come down here, and then to the pubic bone, base of the penis. And once again, with this one, what I like to do is just sort of relax and move from side to side a bit. So it's I'm um, I'm rotating this way a bit. I'm exaggerating. I'm actually coming off, but this is the motion I'm making. This way, I'm going to exaggerate it this way too. Okay? But I'm not actually lifting my hip up, but I'm making that rocking motion side to side. So I exaggerate it because I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera what I'm doing. But that's what I'm doing. I'm rolling from one side to the other. Okay, and it's right there, and you can move it down a little bit lower, closer to the pubic bone. Okay, be careful though, don't uh, squish your nuts, that's not going to feel good. All right, good, excellent. Okay, great. Now, the next thing to do, what I really like to do, is release these legs. Hey man, I hope you got a ton out of this segment of the BFAI Blood Flow Alpha Inhibitor video series where we are diving deep into overcoming this insidious alpha inhibitor that is blocking our birthright of having natural, long-lasting, stage 4 rock hard erections. If you'd like to get free access to the entire BFAI Blood Flow Alpha Inhibitor video series, make sure you click the link in the description of this video to register for free access to all of these life-changing videos in this series, along with some other surprise bonuses. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and turn on your notifications bell so you get all of the future value-packed videos just like this that I will be releasing for you to help you be the best version of yourself and have natural stage four rock solid performance. I will see you tomorrow in the next BFAI blood flow alpha inhibitor video.